This is your forecast for the month of August 2017. If you have visited me before, thank you for returning, and if you are new, welcome. This is a general reading for Leo Sun, Leo Rising, or Leo Moon. You might also find it helpful to watch your rising and moon sign. You can also join me on Facebook and Instagram for daily insights on tarot and astrology as well as my pay-per-view channel. Vimeo.com slash The Alchemist Astrologer for love, finance, and other readings. Now, the second week you have this Queen of Wands. This is fire energy. This could very well be you. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Could be another person. Or just the traits of this Queen are important to this week. So this could be a week that is focused on leadership ability, business success, especially if last week you were involved in some kind of project. Now, if this is a person, maybe she, you know, she's connected to your uh, interaction last week. This is somebody who is very career minded, uh, could be somebody that is socially well connected and very, uh, you know, some measure of expertise about something, maybe something technical or something creative. She's very good at, you know, organizing things. Maybe she she chairs an organization or maybe she is, you know, she's got some type of uh, profession that puts her front and center. Uh, because this is somebody who has a lot of magnetism, a lot of drawing power and the ability to influence others. She knows how to promote her assets uh, for, for personal gain. And there's fierce determination and passion behind it, and she's willing to pursue her own interests to make some things happen for herself. So this is a very dynamic uh, personality. She's optimistic and, you know, she's okay with competition. And she loves money, she loves to express herself, and so this is a week of strong passion. Maybe your imagination is fired up and you are just really letting your creativity loose. You're starting something. You're taking the initiation toward a goal. And for some of you, maybe this is an extension of that Empress energy where you're feeling playful. You want to socialize. You want to mingle. Now, uh, this could be a week where you want people to see you. You want to be noticed. You want to be appreciated. You want to be valued for who you are, what you're offering, what your talents are, what your virtues are. Uh, and this is going to be a week where you're going to attract a wide variety of people who are interested in you on whatever level, professional, personal. Uh, and these are interactions that you enjoy. These are like-minded people, they're people of interest, their goals, their aspirations match yours. They give you some kind of stimulation, some kind of boost, and they uh, quench that thirst you may have for some kind of change or adventure. Uh, now, in the negative, this queen can be insensitive, or she can be irresponsible, or she can feel like she, uh, you know, maybe knows a little bit more than than what, what she, or she pretends to be something other than what she is. She she exaggerates herself a bit. Uh, on the other extreme, maybe she's feeling powerless. Maybe she's lacking the confidence and she's frustrated, which leads her into, you know, fault finding or her, her sense of well-being is, ups, uh, is upset. And maybe she's angry or jealous about something. So she may be working through some past issues that, you know, make her feel a particular way. Uh, in the negative because this person really wants to make something happen they have a goal they may see others as an accessory or a means to that goal uh, so this is a week to be mindful of 
using your influence but in positive ways uh, not trying to meet your goals at the expense of others or it could be if you're feeling powerless you're realizing that you need to take some action in fact you may be so strongly um, focused on gaining some attention or trying to get recognition that you actually work against yourself by becoming a nuisance in some way